Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the blessings of Ramadan brought to you by Pingu's English School and Yorika School System. Millions of alhamdulillah that today we have entered in the second period of Ramadan. Today is 11th Ramadan. The time is passing super fast that we have just started fasting and today we are fasting 11th Rosa which is the greatest blessing of Allah Rabbulism. The second period of Ramadan which is about forgiveness and Allah loves and likes forgiving His creation. Something that you know what Allah loves Allah loves it when people recite Astaghfirullah. The person who recites Astaghfirullah is very, very closest to Allah. So we all should keep reciting Astaghfirullah Rabbi bin Kulli Dhambi wa Atubu Ilay. This is the dua, the supplication for second Ashra. Now we all should keep on reciting with the other supplications as well that we have been doing it from day one. Alright? So, inshallah, we will be starting our this wonderful transmission of Friday. Friday is, again, a very, very happy day and the king of the week as well. So, let's start with the recitation of the Holy Quran. And I am very much grateful that Muhammad Rafi from P6 is coming to recite Surah Rahman. Assalamu alaikum. Happy Ramadan. How are you? MashaAllah. Please have a seat. with the surah which is known as the bride of Quran and in this particular surah Allah Rabbul mentions and reminds his creation 31 times by saying and O you believers which you know the gifts and the blessings of Allah you would you would deny all right Allah reminds in this surah multiple blessings of him and after than that he says so Jazakallah khair for coming today and reciting Surah Rahman. Jazakallah khair. The day is starting and today is Friday. As you all know that on Friday we have to recite Dura Sharif to the maximum. If somebody is reciting every day 100 times Dura Sharif, so at least on Friday they should recite more than 1000 times or as many times as feasible but more than 100 we should be reciting Dura Sharif on Friday because our Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned that every day when the Ummah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam recite Dura Sharif so the angels bring to him but on Friday he listens himself and uh, our names are presented to him as well that uh, Sayyid Muhammad Waqaz bin Sayyid Muhammad Arshad has actually recited Guru Sharif. So this is something really beautiful that he gets to hear our name also that we are reciting Guru Sharif. So whoever is wishing that everyone should be, I mean Prophet Muhammad should know by the name that this person recited Guru Sharif, we all should recite Guru Sharif to the maximum. Uh, today we are inviting Inaya Fahad and Fatma Faisal or Nadi Rasulim Abu Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam Assalamu Alaikum and wishing you both a very happy Ramadan How are you? MashaAllah Alright, so you both will stand and recite that? MashaAllah Which hand are you reciting? Kathidah Burdu Sharif SubhanAllah Pete, over to you Please come here Come here a little bit in our Yeah Sallim, 
So our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he loves us the most. And therefore, one cannot become mu'min until we love Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than our parents, our siblings, our children, in fact, our wealth. I mean, a person cannot become a mu'min, a true, true believer, a true follower of Islam until he doesn't love our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than anyone in anything in the world. Right. So, mashallah, we are going to welcome all our wonderful artists for the calligraphy segment today. So, let's welcome, we have got Inaya, we have got Adiansberry, and we have got Sayyid Muhammad Aris. So, let's welcome three of them. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Inaya Harris? Hi. Mashallah, great. So, how's your preparation for the calligraphy segment? It's good. Very nice. Assalamu alaikum, Adiyans Berry. How are you? I'm fine. Mashallah, you seem to be very happy and excited. Yes. Okay, do you like calligraphy? Yes. Okay, do you do it at your home? Yes. So, have you designed any frames so far? Yes. How many? Five. And you write, you write the names of Allah and Abdullah, Prophet Muhammad. Okay, great. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Sayyid Muhammad Aris? Mashallah, you're growing up. Okay, so you like calligraphy also? Great, so um, it is from one of the verses and we all make dua. We all make dua that whatever we make dua, Allah says kun and it happens. Kun be and it is. Kun fayakun. Such an impactful word in the Quran that Allah just says be and it is. Do you know? Like you're making dua for something. Until Allah doesn't say kun, it wouldn't be for your kun. Right? So we should always make dua, Ya Allah, whatever I'm praying, if it is the best in my favor, which you know only, so please just say kun so it would be for your kun. And then we would achieve that particular thing in our life. Alright? So kun for your kun, it is from the Quran and it, it means be and it is. Alright? Mashallah, your time starts now, so please over to you all. Now, it's also time to invite a very intelligent, genius students for the participation of quiz competition today. So let's welcome Sayyid Shaheed Ahmad, Gida Fatma, and Muhammad Rehan. Assalamu alaikum, happy Ramadan, how are you? Assalamu alaikum, happy Ramadan, assalamu alaikum, how are you? I hope you're fasting. Yes. Mashallah, please have a seat. 
So, dear friends, uh, how is the preparation of today's uh, you know quiz segment? It's good, and you have been participating for years and years in the transmission, so you are well aware of it, right? Very good. And are you fasting? Mashallah, great. Are you fasting? Are you fasting? Mashallah, great. I hope you must be offering tarabi also now. You're going to offer tarabi. Great, great. Great. And what is the difference in the regular day when you go to offer prayers and when you go to offer prayers in Ramadan? You, what are your routine in Ramadan? You must be reciting Quran also. Yes. MashaAllah. What about you? What are your routines in Ramadan? I recite Quran and offer spirit prayer. So you stay yourself busy in zikr. MashaAllah. Great. So, dear friends, we have got three, uh, three rounds. Alright, in our quiz segment and in the first round which is known as the question quiz, okay, I would be asking individually five questions and will give you the options and you have to listen the question carefully and then give me the answer, right? This is our round one which is question quiz, okay? So I would start with uh, Sayyid Muhammad Shaheed. Are you ready Shaheed? And dear viewers, I would also like to inform you all in our today's transmission, our exclusive focus is on angels. Angels are the greatest creation of Allah. So I will tell you later on because the questions are there which would automatically give you the answers about the angels. So the first question for you is, what are the beings created from light and tasked with various duties of Allah by Allah, jinn, humans, Angels, prophets. Angels, absolutely right. The angels are created by light, by nur. Exactly, they are created by nur. And they follow whatever Allah has assigned them, that's what they follow. The difference between angels and humans and jinnah are that angels do not have consciousness. But we as human beings have got consciousness. We have an option to do rights and wrongs. Where the angels have to do only one thing and that is to obey the commandments of Allah Rabbul Alright? So that is the major difference of angels and prophet and the human beings, right? And prophets were also human beings, right? They were also the creation of Allah. Who is the chief of all angels? Hazrat Mikail Ali Salam, Hazrat. Israfil alayhi salam, Hadrat Israel alayhi salam, Hadrat Jibreel alayhi salam. Hadrat Jibreel alayhi salam is the chief of all the angels. This is absolutely the correct answer. Very nice, mashallah. What is the term of the end uh, for the angel responsible for delivering messages from Allah to his prophets? Hadrat Israfil alayhi salam, Hadrat Mikail alayhi salam, Kiram al Kadimi, Hadrat Jibreel alayhi salam. Hadrat Jibreel alayhi salam, he is the angel who used to bring all the revelations, all the messages of Allah Rabbalah to all his prophets. And Hadrat Jibreel alayhi salam, he used to come to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well. MashaAllah, great. You are quite well prepared. Sayyid Muhammad Shaheen, good job. Which angel is tasked with blowing the trumpet to single to sign the Day of Judgment. Hadrat Jibreel alayhi salam, Hadrat Mikail alayhi salam, Hadrat Israfil, Hadrat Israel alayhi salam. Hadrat Israfil alayhi salam, before the Day of Judgment, he will blow a trumpet, which would be a signal to the Day of Judgment, a resurrection day, right? And everything will die. Everything will be dark, will be day. Do you know, what about the angels? Would they be alive? No, all would be dead as well. Okay, one Hadrat Israfil Ali Salam will blow the trumpet. Uh, what is going to happen? The whole world would be spoiled, would be deteriorated immediately. Then Allah Rabbalat would ask Hadrat Israfil Ali Salam that who is left? 
they would say, Allah, these four angels, Hazrat Jibreel, Hazrat Salam, Hazrat Israfil, Hazrat Mikhail, Hazrat Israel, and Allah Himself would be there. Allah would say that, okay, die Jibreel, then Israfil, Israel, and Mikhail, and they all did. And Allah would be all alone. Allah was there from day one. Allah would be there forever. Alright? Allah is infinite. Okay? So that's great. Okay, the last question for our first round is what is the name of the angel who is responsible for recording the deeds of human beings? Angel of Jibreel Ali Salam, Hadrat Mikhail Ali Salam, Hazrat Israfil or Kiram and Katibi? Kiram and Katibi are two angels, right? They are on our right and the left shoulder and they have got a proper register where they jot down whatever we do. Whatever we are doing right now, whatever I'm saying, whatever I'm seeing, all right, this is all being recorded. And this complete video would be played on the day of judgment. On the basis of that, a lot of it would determine uh, we would enter in paradise or hell. And I, I pray that may Allah make all of us enter in Jannah for those with our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when you are making dua, please remember all of us in your prayers. Mashallah, great, Sayyid Muhammad Shahid, I'm so proud of you. Mashallah, you answered all of the questions absolutely correct. Great, keep it up. Okay, now I'm moving on to my next uh, participant of today's quiz competition is Gida Fatma. And the first question is, how many wings does the angel Jibri Ali Salam have? 200, 400, 600, or 800? 600. 600 is absolutely the correct answer. And let me tell you one thing that uh, nobody could see Hadha Jibreel Ali Salam because if someone sees him in the actual, in his actuality appearance, you know, then the person would go faint. But our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has seen him in the shape of an angel and he mentioned in the narration that is there in Hadith that his one wing is from east to the west, he has got such huge wings. So just imagine if in the creation of Allah, angels are such huge, so what would be Allah, Allah the greatest, the one who has created everything in the world, right? Allah is the only creator and we all are dependent. Everything, everything and everyone is dependent on Allah, all right? Just remember the oneness of Allah, okay? What is the throne of the angel who surround the throne of Allah, glorifying him constantly? Angels of mercy, angels of punishment, angel of revelations, angel of majesty. Angel of majesty. Absolutely the correct answer. Which angel is responsible for taking the souls of humans at the time of death? Had the Jibreel, had the Mikhail, had the Prophet, had the Israel, had the Israel. Had the Israel, had the Salam is the one who takes out the soul of every human being, every creation. He is also known as Malakul Maut. Malak means Angel, mouth means death, the angel of death, right? Great. According to Islamic tradition, what are the angels made from? Clay, fire, or light, sand, water? Fire or light. Fire or light. But preferably, the angels are created by light, okay? Which angel is responsible for questioning the deceased in the grave? Uh, angel of Jibrail, angel of Mikai, Munkar, Nakir, angel of Israfi, Ali Salam. Now, in the grave, once we are actually buried in the grave, uh, the angels who would question us, who is your creator? What was your religion? And what do you say about him? And about him, about whom? They will show us our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in our grave, and then they would ask, who was he? What did you used to say about him? And we follow the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we love him, and we truly love him, so we would be able to recognize him. We would identify and we would say, My God is Allah, my religion is Islam, and he is Hadrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is Ummati Ayyam. Alright? So these are the five questions which would the three questions which would be asked in the grave by Munkar Nagir. Okay? Okay, so mashallah you have answered four questions correctly. Great. Now moving on to our last participant, Muhammad Rihan. Your first question is, what is the name of the angel who is believed to be the guardian of hell? Malik, Radwan, Rakib and Atif and Israfil. 
Alright, uh, which angel is responsible for providing sustenance to all living beings? Has a Jibreel alayhi salam, has a Mikael alayhi salam, has a Rafi, has a Jibreel alayhi salam. Hazrat Mikael alayhi salam is the correct answer. Hazrat Mikael alayhi salam is designated to give all the living things the livelihood and also he actually reigns by, by the order of Allah. Okay, what is the trump of the Kiraman Khatibin? Angel of uh, the Jibreel alayhi salam, Munkar Nakir, Ridwan, Rakib and Atif. Yeah, that's correct. According to the Islamic tradition, what is the number of angels created by Allah? Countless. Countless. Very, very right. The angels are countless, right? And let me tell you one more important thing. At the time when a newborn baby is born, along with that child, the two more persons are born. One angel and the other one is the devil. Okay? They are born together. So the angels actually guide that particular child towards the right path when the devil astrays him and tells him the wrong path, okay? The last question for you, which angel is responsible for overseeing paradise? Ridwan, Rakib, Malik, Israfi. Very good, mashallah, you have answered all the questions correctly. Great, mashallah, great, very right. So the kids are quite well prepared today. Uh, they're answering absolutely correct and angels are the creation of Allah of Allah, which are created by light, noor, okay, and they're countless. At the time when Allah of Allah intended to create human beings, so Allah shared with his, with his angels that I am going to create a human being and that human being would be the caliph of, on the earth. The angel said, Ya Allah, why are you creating? Why are you creating the all are there were enough for you? And in fact, this creation would actually de destroy, would fight, would do this and that. Then Allah said, then you don't know what I know. Alright, then Allah ordered all the four angels to go and collect the clay from all over the world. And the Jibreel alayhi salam came. Hazrat Rafi and Hazrat Israel. At the time when they were picking up the sand, the sand said, "Don't pick me, okay?" And they went back. But when Hazrat Israel Ali Salam he came and he, the earth said the same thing, "Don't take me." But he said that for me, the order of Allah is more important than anything else. He picked up, and this is why Allah of Allah has designated him to extract the soul from everybody because. At the time when somebody is about to die, of course the family members are crying, okay? And one has to be very, very strong who doesn't need to get into emotions, okay? While I mean, somebody is crying and the, you know, the angels get a little, you know, emotional and says, no, I shouldn't be extracted because his family, his children, his wife, his parents would be crying. But Hazrat Israel al -Islam, who is very firm, okay? No matter whoever cries, but once Allah has ordered that this person's uh, soul to be extracted, he goes and does and fulfills the responsibilities assigned to him. So that's really great, mashallah. So we're going to learn so many things about the angels in our today's live transmission brought to you by Kings English School and Yorika School System. And now it's time to welcome Ayan Bin Yasir who will be reciting the Quranic words I will be telling its translation as well. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? Happy Ramadan and happy fasting. Are you fasting? Mashallah, great. We are joining today. Okay, very nice. So please have a seat and tell us which words are you reciting? Mashallah, great. ذلك الكتاب لا عيب فيه وده للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما يزناهم من فتن. This is the book in which there is no doubt. Our guidance for those who have taqwa who believe in the unseen and who establish Allah. Spend out what we have provided for them. Jazakallah khair, mashallah great. The belief is what we haven't seen. Because seeing and believing there is no command. I mean, what is the big thing in it? So our religion is Islam and oneness of Allah we have to believe without seeing Allah. We haven't seen Allah and that is what called Iman. Iman is something which you haven't witnessed from your eyesight 
and from your naked eyes but you believe it that is called iman but once you see okay for instance if you all see okay uh, the punishment okay if somebody doesn't offer prayers and gets to see the punishment from his eyes i'm sure everybody would stay in masjid only all right but if since we haven't seen those punishments and the rewards and we do have everything abstract we don't have everything concrete right we haven't seen allah we haven't even seen our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam as well because it's been 400 years that he came in this world but we all believe in oneness of allah that allah is one all right allah has selected the religion islam as the deen and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger of allah and the holy quran is the divine book of allah which is till the day of judgment and quran is a miracle of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam all the angels have been given the different miracles and our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's life Miracle, which is still the day of judgment, that is the Holy Quran. Mashallah, great. So, Jazakallah Khair for coming today. I'd like to welcome a very dear friend of mine, Arif Atif, and he will be reciting the Hadith Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Assalamu Alaikum. Happy Ramadan. How are you? Mashallah. Please have a seat. You can sit here. And you will be telling us the hadith today. Mashallah, sure great start. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ariz Adif and I am from primary 2A. Today I will tell you one hadith from Sahih Muslim. Marra ya min kum mun karan fa yugayiru bi yadi fa illam yastadak fa bilisani fa illam yastadak fa bil fa bi falbi. तुम में से जो शख्स मुनकर यानी खिलाफी शरा देंगे उस पर लाजिम है कि उसे अपने हाथ से रोक दे अगर इतनी भी ताकत ना हो तो अपने जबान से अगर इतनी भी ताकत ना हो तो उस पर लाजिम है कि वो अपने दिल से उसे बुरा समझे और और उसे अपने मजबूत तदबीर से दे इफ एनीवन ऑन फ्रॉम अमंग यू सी समथिंग ऑफ ऑब्जेक्शन बट लेट देम स्टॉप इट विद योर हैंड इफ दे आर एबल टू डू सो विद योर टंग एंड इफ दे आर एबल टू डू सो विद योर हार्ट Reference Sahih Muslim Hadith 79. Jazakallah. Mashallah, great. So this is a very important Hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that whenever you see something which is not corrupt, which is not right, please stop it by your hand if we can, right? If we can't do that, so at least we should say by our tongue. We should be vocal. We say we express our thoughts. For different thing, but when it comes to our religion, Islam, we stay quiet and we all have a very, very simple slogan. It is between them and Allah. Something which is happening publicly, that is you are answerable because if you do not stop them and let them do what they are doing wrong, you would be questioned. In fact, you would be punished as well because you saw from your eyes you had a power not by your hand but by your tongue. Okay, in today's era. I believe everybody has a speech of freedom. Okay, everybody can say whatever they like, whatever they want to say. So let's have an intention and, and act upon the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we should be stopping when we see something objectionable or any questionable thing, which is again the Sharia of, of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Jazakallah khair, Aris, for coming today. Have you celebrated your fast ceremony? Not yet. When will you be observing your first fast? I did not already. Oh, you have already done it, mashallah. Great. How was your experience fasting? It was good, mashallah. May Allah bless you. I would like to welcome our, our another participant who will be telling us about the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Let's welcome Umama Zishan from primary two. Assalamu alaikum, Umama. How are you? Happy Ramadan. Okay, so you will tell us the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam today. Please, over to you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Imam Hashan. I'm nine from the Friend of Today, I'll tell you about Sunnah. Praying the Hajjah. Waking up in the later part of night for one of your prayers. Your friends, starting by Pali, 1,125. Is that clear? MashaAllah, the Hajjah. The Hajjah is one of the prayers which is the most loved prayer by Allah Rabbul 
Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, if I, I wish I could make one prayer obligatory, it would be the Hajj. But he said, I knew my nation, that it would become difficult for them to wake up at the midnight and offer even Tiraka. So therefore, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't make it obligatory for the entire Ummah. But remember, whoever, whoever wants to build a very strong connection with Allah, that person does wake up at the Hajjud. The Hajjud is by invite. You get an invitation by Allah. Allah invites you. Allah wants you to ask because Allah says that ask whatever you want. I'm here to listen. So let's have an aim that we all will start offering the Hajjud in the month of Ramadan, right? MashaAllah. Jazakallah khair for coming. I would like to welcome Muhammad Aryan for this speech today. Assalamu alaikum. Happy Ramadan, Muhammad Aryan. How are you today? Are you fasting? Not today. You fast during the weekend? No, sir. I am uh, fasting all of the fast. Today I don't pick up at the summer. Yes. Okay, mashallah. Great, great. So, who had a, you know, a lot of lessons? He has seen it. and importance in Islam because you see we do have we do have rich we do have poor and Allah knows and Allah has developed a system in a way that the rich will take out their zakah 2.5 percent and by that the poor will be helped the poor will be also enjoying the necessities of life and this is what our religion says which the other people have adopted in the welfare you know the the society for their society they have got welfare and the support their nation and unfortunately in our country we're not doing that so we have to revive we have to make sure that we all pay off the cup we give charity as well all right, uh, zakat is, is an obligatory, whereas charity that we do sadka that is an voluntary. Uh, we should do it every day because it will save us from a lot of a lot of problems that might come across in our life. And of course, as he mentioned, the zakat it purifies your well. In the well, there is a dirt. You know, we observe fast. So our body gets purified, okay? Whatever things to be taken out, it gets detox, okay? So likewise, uh, we have got wealth, we have a lot of money, but that wealth has got some dirt, okay? The money that we got, it was not halal, or was not correct means the way we have earned. So when we pay off zakat, our that money, our wealth gets purified, and it gets unlimited blessings from a lot of believers. So Jazakallah Khair for coming and keep giving charity. Now it's time to welcome Inayah Ali Khan for the benefits of fasting. Assalamu alaikum Inayah, how are you? Wishing you a very happy Ramadan. Please have a seat. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to tell you about the benefits, the benefits of fasting. One of the core benefits of fasting is brain, enhanced brain function. Some research suggests that fasting may Increase your uh, improve your brain health by increasing your production of brain derived neurotrophic facts factors BDNF, a protein that promotes the production uh, the growth of neurons. 
Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are sharing every day the benefits of fasting. Of course, being Muslim, we all know we have to observe fast. And we have to observe fast for the whole month, right? But we're also sharing some scientific and medical proven benefits of fasting also. So that the people who do not observe fast, they can also get an inspiration and start fasting. May Allah give all of us the courage, all right, and potential to observe the fast in the holy month of Ramadan. I mean, Jazakallah khair for coming today. Now, I am moving towards my second round. My second round is Riddle Meet. In that particular round, you all have got the buzzers in your hand. I will show you some visuals. Now, once you see the visuals and you know the answer, you will press the buzzer. And then I will ask you the question. Okay? Is that fine with everyone? There will be all together only three questions. And whoever will press the buzzer first will get an opportunity to answer. Are you ready? Very good. So here you go with the first question. The first question is, And accompany Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and protected him during the night journey called you know, Maharaj, okay, Ascension Night. Angel Mikhail al Islam, Angel Jibrail al Islam, who first? Yes. Angel Jibrail. Absolutely the correct answer. The Jibrail al Islam is the angel who accompanied our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from Masjid al Haram to Masjid al Aqsa and from Masjid al Aqsa to the skies and then beyond Sidat al Muntaha. Then he went to meet Allah Rabbul right? Do you people know that we recite when we sit in tahash, uh, tashad, uh, so we recite something? What do we recite? At tahiyat. Do you know that's a monologue? That is a dialogue between Allah and His beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They're talking, right? And that is how it is actually mandatory in the Quran. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that I was invited for the Ascension Night. Okay, and that was Miraj. Okay, and for Muslim, what is the Miraj for Muslim? Praying, offering prayer is actually the Miraj of of moment, right? So we all should ensure that we are we are offering prayers five times a day, and from today we should start offering tahajjud as well, right? And besides that, we should also offer ishra, charge, and abadi as well, right? These are also very impactful prayers. Now the next question is, who are they? Made of light, follows Allah's commandments, are genderless. Who prays first? Yes. They are genderless. Yeah, who are they? Angels. Angels. Angels are made up of light, they follow the commandments of Allah, and they don't have a gender. Right? But you know why the crazy thing about this Bani Israel, they used to call angels as the daughters of Allah now below, okay? They used to make them as partners of Allah. They used to say angels are the daughters of Allah. But angels are genderless. They are neither men nor women, okay? They were they don't have any gender. The gender is in humans and animals. Okay, they have got proper uh, gender like male and female okay very good now let's move on towards our last question get the name of angel and the options are chief angel of all angels broad revelation to prophet Muhammad sallam inform Maryam uh, Maryam about birth of prophet Isa chief of all angels and the Jibreel Hazrat Jibreel Islam is absolutely the correct answer very good mashallah the chief of all angels Ikra bismi rabbika khalat the first remediation to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at Kaf Hira, right? You know that at Kaf Hira he brought the first remediation. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam started going and started offering lon lonely in the cave of Hira, and a day an angel appeared and said Ikra. To our beloved Prophet Muhammad and after three repetitions, our beloved Prophet Muhammad started reciting Ikra Bismi Rabbika Ladi Falak. Read for the name of Allah who created, all right, the mankind. And of course, Hadrat Maryam alayhi salam. Do you know she was the mother of Hadrat Isa alayhi salam? 
Uh, Maria Salam, she did get married and she was blessed with a baby boy named Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. And that is also one of the miracles of Allah. You know, in the in the world, excuse me, in the world, everything which is born is born with the mother and father. They marry and then the children are born. Hazrat Adam alayhi salam is born without parents. Hazrat Hawa alayhi salam is born without parents. And so is Hazrat Isa alayhi salam is born without father. It is also one of the miracles of Allah. Allah is having power over all. Inna Allah ala kulli shayin kadi. It is not necessarily. It is. It, it's a proper process. A man and a woman marry, and then Allah give them a good news of a child. Okay, but if Allah wants, Allah can give somebody without, and Allah has shown it, right? So Allah has power over all, everything. All right, that is that follows the commandments of Allah, right? Now it's time to show the calligraphy of our wonderful participants who have done it. So I would like you to show it. Great. MashaAllah, you have completed. You know what? Now I need to see some wonderful children in my transmission. And the transmission is always incomplete without calling the participants of the storytelling and the storyteller. So let's welcome our first participant of storytelling, Ibrahim. Assalamu alaikum Ibrahim. Wishing you a very happy Ramadan. How are you? Please have a seat. Please have a seat here. Sit down. Yeah, very good. I would like to welcome Hani Khaja. Assalamu alaikum. And happy Ramadan. How are you? Please have a seat. Great, I would like to call Ishal Basri. Assalamu alaikum. Wishing you a very happy Ramadan. Please have a seat. I would like to welcome Sayyid Muraj Ahsan. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? You're fine? Okay, please have a seat. Now it's time to welcome our wonderful storyteller, Ms. Karatulan. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. How are you all? Alhamdulillah. Fine. Okay, that's good. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so now who will tell me uh, which month is going on Islamic month I'm talking about? Ramadan. Ramadan. Okay. And which uh, which ashram has been we have entered? Second and Second and Great. Okay. Um, everyone, today I'm going to tell you the story about uh, Surah Al Fil. It was told in Surah. Alfin, yes. Can anyone tell me the uh, meaning of uh, Alfin? Elephant. Very good. The elephant. The elephant. Yes. It was revealed. Uh, it was revealed in Quran uh, before migration of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And it was a Makki surah. And you know, it's in thirtieth para. The number of surah is one hundred and fifth. Right. And. Uh, let me show you something. Okay. Ooh, Can anyone tell me what's this? Baba, Baba. Ah, mashallah, everybody Baba. knows that. Very good. Baba. The okay. house of Allah. What is this? Baba. Yes. The house of Allah. What is the meaning of Kaaba Is it the holy place of Allah? Very good. Very nice. Great. Okay, great Baba. Okay. Now, Ibrahim, what's this? Which elephant? Elephant. 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 Nice. And what does feel mean? Elephant. The elephant. elephant. Very good. Yes. Okay. Can someone tell me hmm. what these are? You tell me. Uh, 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 birds. Birds. Okay. Yeah, birds. I know their name. Yeah. Their name? Ababi. Where is Ababi mentioned? It is mentioned. It is mentioned. In the surah, in surah feel a lot of Buddhism mentioned about the bird's name called Ababi. Very good. Okay. So you know the Kaaba. Who built Kaaba? Kaaba. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Mashallah, Mashallah. Hazrat Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Ibrahim alayhi salam along with his son. Hazrat. Ismail alayhi salam. Yeah. Okay. Shall I start my story? Yeah. Oh, very excited. Okay. So you know there was a ruler in Yemen who heard that all the people of Makkah 
they they were going to uh, Makkah or uh, they were going to Makkah and then uh, perform Hajj over there and buying and selling things for the business purpose. Yeah. But you know, Abraha didn't like that, and he said that I don't want to people go to Makkah. Why? Because he really wanted to take all the people there in Yemen. And then what he said, he said that I will build something very giant and big place in Yemen to worship. Then he thought that people will come to worship over there and the other festivals. And then what happened? He built the big place, but people still continue to go to Makkah. Yes. And then he was angry. So he was angry. And then he decided to attack Kaaba. He decided to attack Kaaba. Kaaba. Yes. So what he did? He took all his troops, horses, elephants, and went to Makkah. And the people of Makkah was very much afraid to hear that Abraha was coming. Yes, Abraha was. Yes, Abraham and was coming with his army. Powerful army. Yes, the powerful army was coming there. So, what they did? They they go to the mountain. They went. Yes, very good. They hide it into the mountain. mountain. Yes. And then what happened? On the way to go Makkah, Abraha captured some camels belongings to chief of Makkah, Abdul Muttalib. The name was Abdul Muttalib. And who is he, Abdul Muttalib? He is from. He is Sallallahu Grandfather. Yeah, Hazrat Abdul Muttalib is the grandfather of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When Abdul Muttalib meet with Abraha, he thought that he will ask to spare the Kaaba, but uh, uh, but Abdul Muttalib asked for his. Camel, yes, and you know that was surprise for Abraha, and he said that I thought that you will ask me about to spare the Kaaba, but what you what you are asking to me, you are asking about your camels. So Abdul Muttalib gave a reply to him that I am the owner of my camel, so that's I have to come with, and then he said. The Kaaba too has an owner and who will take care of it? And who is the owner of Kaaba? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. MashaAllah, great, great, superb. Allah is the Allah is the creator and Allah created. It's a house of Allah. Yeah. So Hadith Abdul Muttalib say that Allah would take care of his Kaaba, alright? So now, what happened next? You want to listen? What happened yeah. next? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you know, uh, Abraha planned the attack to Kaaba, and he said to his army to attack, start attack, right? And and then, uh, you know, they they bought all their elephants, the horses to front of Makkah. But you know, by the Allah's will, elephant didn't move. Yes, they were not moving. They put they all the horses and elephants bowed down and they they stuck over there just because of Allah's will. Then what happened? You want to listen? Yeah. Then what happened? Yeah. Then Allah sent against those people by the small birds. Named? Then, no, named what are the names of those birds? Our yeah, very good. Our beer. All right, I will show it to you. Yeah, you know? he shows the our yes. Yeah. Oh yes, See, our bee. All the flock of you know the our bees. Yes, the small birds. On what they had? They had a. No, oh, let me show you the small stones are there. See, you can see yeah, the small stones. Small stones. Yes. They Yes, they had the name the written on it, yes. right? Okay. Once I will complete my story, then I will give you. Okay. Okay. So then, you know, they brought the, uh, they had a small stone in their beak, beak and their claws, and their claws. Yes, which they headed to the Abraham's army. Abraham's army. Yes. Great. And you know, uh, they feel like a, like a fireballs, right? And then what happened? 
Uh, and then what happens? Yes. Yes, they Allah made them like an eaten straw, like a dry leaves. Yes, like a dry leaves. Yes, okay. So then what happened? Allah saved all the people of Makkah and his house. What is this house name? Makkah. No, I'm talking about the Very good, Maharaj. That's good. Okay. So see how Allah is great. You know, he can send any of the army like um, like a thunderstorm, like wind, like any weather, any animal. It can be those who save to the other people and then against to everyone. Okay, so that's all for that story about. And I have prepared some questions for you. So I hope you will learn it. Okay, inshallah. Now I'm going to start. So... First of all, I will ask the question about the surah, okay? So, honey, you tell me, do you know what the number of surah al feel in the Quran? 100. Yes, 100. Very good. Okay, that's very good. Okay, Ishan, you tell me, how many paras in the Quran? No, 10, 20, 30, 30 or 30? 30. Very good. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Muraj, tell me, uh, do you know what is Kaaba? It is a holy name and Muslim is Makkah. That's very good. Okay. Now, who will tell me where is Makkah? Hi. Okay, Ibrahim will. Ibrahim, tell me where is Makkah? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Very Saudi Arabia. Very good. Fine. Okay. Now, honey, tell me, uh, who built Kaaba? Named Hazrat Smail Ali Salam. That's great. Okay. Mm, who will tell me what is Al Fi means? Okay, we shall read it. Al Fi means? I know. I know. Okay, you tell me, honey. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now the last, that was the name of, uh, who was, what was the name of the ruler of Yemen? I, I. Okay, Marash. Abraha. Abraha. Very Great. good. MashaAllah. And, and what were the name of those birds which Allah sent? Ababi. Ababi. Very good. Yeah. Please okay. see. Carry on. So that's all for today. And I hope you will learn about this surah and you will learn this surah as well. Okay. okay, you all may memorize the surah. It is in the last para, which is the 13th para. Okay, and remember one thing what we have learned from this story that Allah has power over everything, no matter what. Somebody says, I'm powerful, I'm having this much power, I have that much army, but in front of Allah, they are nothing. They are nothing. So, who should we pray to? We should pray to what Allah. Who should we pray to? One Allah. One Allah only. And we should make dua from whom? We Allah. should make Allah. We should make dua from Allah only because Allah will only forgive all our prayers. Alright? Jazakallah khair everyone for coming to my today's transmission and making it very meaningful. Alright? Have a blessed time everyone. Jazakallah khair. Now finally after the storytelling session we have come to an end. To our last round, which is brain, brain, brain waves, which is a rapid fire. Each one of you will be given 60 seconds, and you have to answer the maximum question. If you don't know the answer of a question, please tell me fast so I can move on. All right, all right. Now let's move on to the first question, and this is for Sayyashahi. Sayyashahi, the first question is: What is the drama for the angel who carry the throne of Allah? Very good. Well, which angel is believed to have been sent to destroy the people of Prophet Lut Ali Salam? According to Islamic belief, which angel revealed the Quran to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Absolutely correct. What is the term of the angel who are close to Allah and constantly glorify Him? Great. Okay. Which angel is responsible for controlling rainfall and other natural phenomena? 
as Ruth is referring to. What is the term for the angel who protect and guard individuals? Father. Okay, which angel is believed to have delivered the revelation of to Prophet Musa Ali Salam? Uh, he directly received from Allah just once when he desired to actually talk to Allah. Otherwise, the whole revelation used to be by Hadith Jibreel Ali Salam. Allah has always sent his the angel Jibreel Ali Salam to take his messages to prophets. Hadith Musa Ali Salam, he, he made dua. He shared that, Ya Allah, I want to talk, I want to see you, I want to talk to you directly, I want to see you. Allah has mentioned that, uh, Musa, you would not be able to observe and absorb. But yet, Hadith Musa Ali Salam, he insisted Allah. Allah asked him, Okay, please come and Mount Tur. And he came at Mount Tur and Allah showed him a glimpse and the mountain was burned and he got fed. Okay, and there this is how Hadad Musa is known as Kalimullah. So well played and well answered, mashallah. Great. So he had answered six questions correctly. Now moving on to the la uh, the second part of Sprint Gida. Which angel is believed to okay, just wait for a while. Okay, which uh, which angel is believed to have been sent to Maryam Ali Salam about the birth of Prophet Isa Ali Salam? Hadith Jibreel Ali Salam. Which angel will welcome believers at the door of paradise? Ridwan. Okay, according to Islamic tradition, which angel will punish the disbelievers in hell? Okay, which angel is believed to have been sent to assist Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during the Battle of Badr? Okay, it's a correct answer. According to Islamic tradition, which uh, which angel will take the soul of the believer gently at the time of death? This is the correct answer. Which angel is believed to have been sent to thy prophet Muhammad during the night journey, Isra and Miraj? It's absolutely correct. And uh, which angel is believed to have been sent to inform Prophet Ibrahim about the death of Prophet Ismail? Every time is up. Okay, well the question is that Hazrat Jibreel al Ibrahim al -Salam, he was dreaming and he dreamed three times that he is slaughtering his son named Hazrat Ismail al Salam. Alright? And that uh, he was he was there to fulfill the commandments of Allah. But then Allah will believe the thing with Hazrat Jibreel al -Salam, a sheep from the paradise. And the knife was not slaughtering because Allah didn't order. So everything, even the chair, anything, Allah will give the order to this thing and it will not move. The way to this story we learned that the, the elephants and the horses and camels, they stopped. They surrendered because Allah ordered them not to move. Likewise, to the night, Allah ordered not to slaughter us as Ismail alayhi salam. Hadad Jibreel Amin, he came with the sheep and that is what he he slaughtered Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam and it is now the Sunnah and it will, it will uh, adha that we slaughter animal, right? We perform Hajj, which is the Sunnah of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam We do Sa'i and Safa and Marwa, the two mountains where Hazrat Hajr alayhi salam walked and prayed and likewise we as Muslims, we do the similar thing Abi Zamzam uh, the water which was given as a blessings to Hadad Ibrahim alayhi salam when he was moving his heels to that mountain and Allah will that actually he started uh, water, you know, river from there and yet till many many years we still drink Abiz Zamzam when we go to Makkah and we also drink in Medina as well. So that's great, you have answered um, you have also answered six questions correctly. Now I'm moving on to the last participant for the round, Briggs Brainwave. So are you ready for the questions? Just let me just do that first. Okay, and your first question is, according to Islamic belief, can humans see angels in their true form? Yeah, which angel delivered the revelation to Prophet Muhammad in the cave of Hira? Correct. Which angel is responsible for causing rain to fall? Mikhail Ali Salam is the correct answer. Which angel is known as the guardian of angel? Yeah. 
Okay, very productive. Okay, how are angels described in the Quran regarding your appearance? Being of light, correct. Uh, which prophet is said to have been angels in the original form during his journey of ascension? Correct. How many? Uh, how are angels described in terms of their gender? Gender. Great. Which angel is often associated with mercy and compassion in Islamic teachings? Hazrat Mikhail alayhi salam. What is the significance of angel being described as being of light? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's right. So he has also answered six questions correctly, and that's um, that was a very wonderful competition to me. I really, really enjoyed the way three of you are answering in our today's uh, transmission, which is really, really wonderful. So I'm glad that you all came today. Jazakallah khair for coming. I'll surely be telling the results shortly. And first of all, we would like to welcome all our wonderful calligraphers to come forward and show their art piece to everyone. So please let's come over here. And I Harris, let's show to everyone. Look at there. It's beautiful. Very good. Let the ultimate piece come. Wow, mashallah, you're making mountains, sky. Okay, please come. Down there. Okay. Come back to your place. Okay, please come. Sayyid Aris, you've done a very great work. Great, very good. Now it's time to appreciate, recognize all the wonderful participants of our today's live transmission, the blessing of Ramadan, brought to you by Pingu's English School and Yorika School System. We are very, very grateful to our school, which gives all of us an opportunity to, to preach in the right direction to our young generation about Islam and our beloved Prophet Muhammad So let's welcome our first participant, Muhammad Rafi. Many congratulations to you. I would like to welcome Inaya Fahad and Fatma Faisal. They both recited beautifully Qasidah This is for you. Please come. I would like to welcome Ayan bin Yasser. Congratulations, Ayan. Keep it up. I would like to welcome Aris Ather. We both are turning to you. Let's have a picture. Mama Nishan. <laughs> Mashallah. Congratulations. Yes. I would like to welcome Muhammad Aryan. Congratulations, Muhammad Aryan. Let's welcome Inaya Ali Khan. I would like to welcome our wonderful participants of this competition today. Thank you, Shaheen Ahmed. Congratulations. Great. Gida Fatma. Congratulations, Gida. Take it. Mohammed Rihad. I would like to welcome Ibrahim Siddiqui. Ibrahim, this is for you, Ibrahim. Let's have a picture. Okay. 
Ishal Basri. Show congratulations. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you, Maraj Ahsan. Congratulations. Okay, okay, okay. Come here. Take it. Look at there. Look at the camera. It's fine. Very good. And Hani Khaja, she's brilliant, mashallah. Hani, I'm so proud of you. Alright, now it's time to call Inaya Harris. Congratulations, Inaya. <coughs> Very congratulations, Adhikan. Hold it. And Sayyid Muhammad Ares, congratulations. Now it's time to make an announcement for the winner of the quiz competition. And the winner of quiz competition is any guesses who is the winner? And the winner is Muhammad Rihad. Many, many congratulations, Rihad. And now it's time to announce the winner of our calligraphy. And the winner of our today's calligraphy is Ayyad Muhammad Aris. Congratulations. And I'll tell you about Sayyid Muhammad Aris. Uh, I remember last year he came in uh, in our transmission. He said that where is my share? <laughs> and today he's receiving his share. Do you remember? And see, Allah has made you wait for a year and now you're receiving your own share. Are you happy? MashaAllah, great. Okay, now it's time to invite all of you to come forward and let's have a group photo together. Please come forward, everyone. So Alhamdulillah, our today's live transmission has come to an end and we are very grateful to Allah Rabbul Adil that Alhamdulillah we made it happen. So Jazakallah khair everyone for coming in today's transmission and making it very impactful and I wish you all a very happy Ramadan I hate and keep fasting and remember in the second period of Ramadan we have to keep reciting Astaghfirullah Rabbi Min Kulli Dhambi Wa Atubu Ilayhi Today's Friday we all have to keep reciting Guru Sharif Sallallahu Alaihi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Sallam On Friday we should also recite Surah Kahaf so that we should do it and make sure that everybody reaches to Masjid before the second prayer, okay? Before taking Adhan, we all have to arrive in the masjid, right? And remember that in the in between the two in, in between the khutbah, there is an interval. And in that interval, this is the time to accept the prayer. So make sure you make dua for yourself, for your parents, and including all of us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.